Here's something that we just don't talk that much about, evolutionary biology. So, you know, me listening to different podcasts and reading articles, it's so interesting, this concept that we have brown fat here, like brown fat is more metabolically active than the white fat, but the problem is, is that we don't live outside anymore, guys. And so people try to do keto and our metabolism or our metabolic flexibility Flexibility is rigid. So I'm a person who loves perfect temperature. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a freaking temperature weak. Like things gotta be nice. Like I don't wanna be too cold. I don't wanna be too hot. But really that's not gonna make me metabolically flexible. That's gonna make me weak. We're supposed to be living outside guys. So just the concept that potentially we had more brown fat before because we were shivering. Shiver, shiver, right? What does shivering do? It makes us warm. What does that do? Create more metabolic activity to shiver. But I'm never shivering. So I've developed a lazy body in some aspects when it comes to temperature regulation. It's fracked up that the idea, the anecdotal idea, or the theory is, is that if you have more brown fat, you're going to be burning more, uh, uh, let's say, grams of food. And you're going to, going to be more metabolically flexible. And stay lean, yes. If I were to live outside, then I would have that more kind of strong metabolism. Even though I do have a strong metabolism because there's a lot of other things that I do, obviously keto being the biggest one, and sleep and you know being mindful and breathing and diaphragmatic breathing and all this kind of stuff. But I just want to talk about that concept of evolutionary biology that if we don't communicate and we don't exercise, we sit the wrong way, we walk the wrong way, we do everything the wrong way. We have our bodies in a C shape. So women develop issues with their gallbladder and estrogen dominance and all these pharmaceuticals that we're on and poor quality foods that we would not have gone through if we lived outside. Now, if we lived outside, we wouldn't have to worry about the elements of heat exhaustion or freezing to death. We wouldn't have to worry about infection. And so these are the things that we don't have to fight today. But now we're fighting uh, metabolic inflexibility. We're rigid. And people become like so metabolically damaged with their thyroid and with high blood sugar and insulin issues and estrogen issues that they can't lose weight at all. They lose muscle, but they still are flabby. So it's very interesting that we're still animals, guys. We're mammals. We're supposed to be living outside. And now our bodies are so unflexible that no matter, like people do keto and they're not losing weight. They're losing weight on the scale, but they're not going down in body fat. And that's my next video that you guys don't know the difference. So I just want to talk about the way we socialize, the way we communicate. It's really scary. Like it's not that things are going to change in the future. It's already here. The problems with humanity, with a modern human, it's already, the problems have arrived. People having um, sleep issues, they have, you know, neck issues from looking down at their phone. Children having a difficulty understanding and distinguishing facial expressions because we're not looking at each other anymore. And then we want to just lose weight and do keto and get boom, right? The business. Crazy. I don't, I, I can't even describe it. I look younger. You guys know I'm 50, but I'm not, I mean, I am 50 and I look younger, but I grew up at a time where like my first computer is when I was 35. So like I said, brown fat, get uncomfortable. That's what will make you more metabolic, metabolically flexible. Move your body eat healthy foods, get away from pack, packaged foods. These are the things that are going to make you metabolically flexible. Lean, fit, strong is when you're uncomfortable. So I started shivering more, right? I want to shiver. I want to be exposed to cold because that's what we're, we're used to, right? Babies don't shiver out of the bath. 
They are designed, I think they have more brown fat, they, but they are designed to handle temperature as these vulnerable, vulnerable little babies and then we're exposed to modern society and then we're just weak. We're weak from head to toe. People treat, try to keto adapt, they don't, right? They look at weight on the scale and they're like, I'm adapted, I'm in ketosis. No, you're not. Nope, you're not. Because we are more complicated than that. We have biofilms, we have infections in our lymphatic system, we've got blood sugar dysregulation, insulin and glucagon are not, the opposing uh, hormones aren't functioning properly, we have leptin issues, we have issues, we have sleep issues, and then people do keto and they're like, I'm adapted! No, you're not! You're not! Sorry, you're not. It takes time, three month chunks, and a lot of discipline, and a lot of learning about the body, metabolic flexibility, and how we've evolved as modern humans and have become very lazy. Mentally, trying to get people to eat. Oh my God, it's so boring. Oh my God, I'm so bored in keto. It's so boring. Oh my God, I can't have that. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm just like, what is going on? And that's why I always like to challenge myself no matter what, right? And now 50, you guys can go back through all my videos and be like, boom. Still got the mother sucking business at 50, 10 years on keto, I haven't gone over 20 net carbs, and I try to learn as much as I can. Don't believe the hype, guys. Nothing's easy. If it's easy, you wouldn't be human. And I'm out. Oh yes, as you know, I'm writing the Ultimate Keto Book. Yes, I'm still writing it. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's evolved. It's evolving to be a very, very, very important book of the era of keto trendy yes and I'm out you can check me out on my Instagram which is Stephanie Ketogenic or my Facebook Stephanie the business person on my website stephanieperson.com I'm still doing consultations I'm still writing the book I still have a keto course through my site and I'm out peace